Welcome back to Life in Lego. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my mocks and a minifig accessory for a Venom minifigure. So let's begin. Number one is the simple house build. It's made out of green, blue, yellow, white, and gray bricks. I'm not sure how many pieces there are. If you're wondering where I got this plant piece, it came for an exclusive minifig. Uh, I don't know which one it is, but uh, it's a really cool looking plant piece. The minifig comes with two of them. So I took one of them and put it in the mock. So uh, no illegal building techniques. Everything is uh, just pretty normal. Uh, I built this after getting one of those big boxes of creator uh, bricks. And um, yeah, this is what I was able to build. Uh, the door uh, is just a blue door with a yellow hose piece attachment. Uh, everything else is normal. We've got levers. I tried to represent windows, but I couldn't. There is some trans clear, transparent clear pieces up there holding those two together. But other than that, it's just a pretty, pretty simple build. Next is this car mock that I made. It does work. It uses white, gray, green, and trans blue pieces. Uh, it's pretty simple. The wheels are built with these pieces and these pieces. Uh, standard wheels. I know I've got the license plates, which is kind of weird because they don't, they aren't the same license plate, but that's fine. The inside. Uh, it does look the minifig scale, but it's not. You have a hard time fitting a minifig in there. Uh, these two transparent sloping pieces are official Lego. It took me a while to figure that out. So, yeah. Now for the minif minifig accessory. This is a simple build using, I believe, eight pieces. Designed it by myself. Uh, so you can make your Venom minifigures look amazing. So I'm just going to do how to build so let's begin to build this you need four vine pieces I don't know where I got them but I believe they're pretty easy to find two claws a black cheese slope and one of these all sided uh, one by ones and this piece which is a neck attachment for many figs with a stud I believe you can get these in the uh, Lego movie sets first what you want to do is you want to take the one by one and the neck attachment and you want to stick it like this and then you want to make it diagonal once it's diagonal and as straight as you can possibly get it then you want to grab the vine pieces you want two of them on the top facing outwards and then you want two on the bottom facing upwards uh, you can do it to a slant it'll make it look a little better but I'm just doing it upwards. Then you want to add the cheese slope on the back with it facing towards the ground, the bottom, and there you go. You then want to take your Venom minifigure, remove the minifigure's head, put on the neck attachment, which if it doesn't fit, this one does, but if it doesn't fit, then you'd have to mess around with it. Stick on the minifigure head, take the claws, and then you want to attach them to the minifigure I prefer to do it with the claw facing backwards. You can do it with it facing forwards, whichever one uh, you think looks better. And boom, improved Venom minifigure. It should make your mocks and stuff look better unless you prefer the old original Venom. Uh, I think this one might be mixed and match head and torso piece with a just standard black printing for the legs. So there you go. Now on to our final mock. This is a simple mech mock. I posted it on my Mecha Bricks account, and I think I might post it on Lego Ideas. Um, the piece count is, if my counting is correct, 32 pieces to build this. I'm going to do a simple how to build uh, really quick. So here we go. I'm gonna. Sh so I'm going to show you how to create all these three pieces. Sadly, on the legs piece, I am missing another one of these parts. So if you do a count, you might have more or less. But 
just pretend like there's another one of these on that side. So let's begin. First we're going to start on the legs. So these are the pieces you need. You want to start off with these uh, angled pieces. You want to take uh, one by two plates and uh, put them right here. Then take one of these plates with the attachment piece on there and stick it on there. You want to repeat this twice with the other one. So I'll just show you that really quick. And then, boom. After that, you want to take these pieces. You want to put this on top so it'll look like that. And then you want to take a cheese slope and attach it like that. You want to do this twice, and I'll show you what it should look like in the end. Boom. So it'll look like this. You want it to stay like this. Then you take these pieces, and once you have these, you want to stick them both on. These will be the feet and legs. To attach these, you are going to want this, I believe it is just a flagpole piece. You want to take it and you want to take one of these pieces and stick them together and then voila. You then want to attach these very close to them and the thing is, is that these might end up sliding the next pieces off so you want to make sure that they are well on there and close to the middle like that. Then you're going to want two of these, sadly I've only got one, a round plate and a flat 2x2 two two plate. And you want to stick them together and then attach it on the sides. If it doesn't work, you might have to scoot everything over uh, and boom. Now while that's good for a minifigure leg extension, we now want to build the upper part. You want one of these and one of these. You want to stick them together with this piece on the bottom. Then you are going to want to take one of one of these and stick it here. And then you're going to want to put one of these on as well as one of these. And then you want to attach it again together. And you want to put these on. Uh, these are to clip on the last piece. You want to take these and on the side um, you want to attach this. Then you simply stick it together. Oops, come on backwards. Stick it together like this, then put it on, and boom. That is the middle piece. You then want to take the legs and this piece and stick them together. And you should get that. So this last part, it's what you need to strap the minifigure in. You want one of these. You want to place this on, just like that. And then you want to take, uh, if I can find it, this piece. Stick it on here, just a simple one by two plate. And then you're going to take this piece right here, which is for design, you can use another 1x2 plate or just a 2x2 two two plate. Then you want to take these two and stick it together, just like that on top. Then you're going to want to take uh, these bumper pieces and stick them together. And yeah, boom. Then you want to take all these uh, round 1x1s one ones and you want to place them on the side pieces all four of them and then you want to take these trans red and you want to stick them either on the top or bottom too and boom after that you want to take it and you stick it these pieces up here to these up here oops oops and boom a minifigure holding mech it's pretty easy to make and Although you might have a hard time figuring out what I was saying and doing, it's going to be pretty easy. You can really just reverse engineer it by looking at the picture. 
But, yep, those are all the things that I wanted to show you on uh, my mocks and minifigure accessories. So, I hope you liked them. I might do instructions on how to build a couple of them. But for now, thank you. Goodbye.